Hi guys, Ronnie here. Today I want to talk about my time trial bike again because I have been riding it a lot recently and I've had an option to try out this Vision Metron tri-spoke wheel. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really know what to expect from it, but so far I'm actually quite surprised by its performance. So the first thing about time trial wheels that probably is the most interesting for you guys is the speed. Now obviously I don't have access to wind tunnel just yet, uh, but so far from comparing my power data and speed data to my previous runs, I think this wheel is actually quite, well it's very fast indeed and it could actually be a bit faster than my uh, 808 NSW zip spoked wheel that I have ridden previously on this bike. So that's a good point. Uh, what I don't like about this wheel is the fact that it's only available as a tubular. So I'm using this uh, Victoria, Victoria quarter speed tubular tire on it. But uh, if I think about it, that would be more of an issue on a wheel that I use every day for long training rides. But on a time travel wheel, well, I use this quite often now, but only for short 30-40k rides, so that's not really that much of an issue. And as a bonus, the tire fits extremely flush uh, with, with the rim, as you can see, super uh, nice transition right there, possibly just as good as a clinch tire would, would be, so there is no penalty in terms of aerodynamics. Now, of course, uh, there's a small penalty in rolling resistance, but that's, I think, 1.3 watts with this particular combo. So if you compare the clincher, course the speed that I have on the rear <coughs> and the tubular version, the tubular is 1.3 watts uh, slower, but that's not really a deal breaker because it probably makes that up in the aerodynamics of the wheel. Okay, so that speed covered and the tire. Uh, one other niggle is the inflation. Now this one has the valve hole integrated into one of the spokes. And there are other tri-spoke wheels that have it just behind the spoke itself. Now this is not really a very happy solution for me because I generally use uh, the Silka Hero locking adapter. And it fits uh, the disc wheel very well, and most uh, other wheels as well. But unfortunately, the space on there is a bit too tight to fit, so I have to use this regular uh, silk aluminum adapter. But this one is not locking, so uh, it's a bit tricky to get seated and to get a proper inflation on there. But uh, I have found that. <clears throat> the key to that is to stand the pump further away from the bike so the uh, so there's less tension on the hose and then it's and the adapter is not being pulled away by the hose that much well it's pushed rather because the hose is too close it's too long so that way it can see it pretty easily and you can inflate it to uh, good pressure without worrying too much about getting someone to help you. So yeah, inflation is a bit tricky. Also, the opening itself is very large, so uh, finding a sticker that covers it well uh, might not be that easy, but you get some included with the wheel, but not too many. Uh, but never mind, it's uh, not a big deal, just little inconvenience. Uh, then the quick release skewer, which is included, is quite bulky, so I don't use that. I use this view speed uh, arrow axle, and it's super flush. Uh, the wheel itself is quite narrow, so 24 mil at the brake track, the tire comes up to 23 and something. So, as I said before, very very nice match. Uh, braking wise, uh, the brake power 
is not huge, but the brake force is very well modulated and very predictable, so that's a good point right there. Now the elephant in the room uh, for some people with this kind of wheel might be stability in the winds. Now I've ridden this on a pretty windy days recently and I have to say it uh, feels quite a lot different to wheels I have ridden before. So when you ride into a crosswind you always feel a bit of pressure on there. There's no build up like a normal wheel would be, you just always feel that the wind is pressing on you and that might be up to these uh, spokes which have very, a very large surface area on them. Uh, yes, you can always feel it but it's never jerky or violent, you just have to be a bit more careful and pay attention to it and adjust your line accordingly because uh, as I said, it not, it's definitely not going to jerk the bar from my hands, but there's always that uh, feeling of pressure on the wheel. When it gets a bit twitchy is when it, actually a car passes you or a lorry goes into the opposite direction. This kind of dirty air kind of disrupts uh, the wheel and you get a kind of a loose feeling on there and that's not very uh, reassuring but it's not a situation that's going to happen on race day which this wheel was designed for so definitely good choice now for a long distance triathlon I don't think I would use this because of this uh, well uh, slight twitchiness or just there are most more stable and more uh, confidence inspiring wheels out there for sure but uh, it's much better than I expected it to be uh, uh, one more thing that I'm quite surprised by is the fact that this wheel rides extremely well. Now since it's a monocoque construction I expect it to be stiff and harsh, well it is stiff, but somehow the layup is tuned in a very very clever way so I didn't feel any, any sort of harshness coming from the wheel itself and uh, I also felt that in the corners, in some tight technical bands, downhills and some urban uh, elements like roundabouts and such, this wheel actually felt somehow much better tracking in the corners like my old 808 and it just be down to the fact that uh, it's a complete monocoque wheel so the way it flexes is a bit more predictable because you don't have uh, the spoke area with separate stiffness and the rim area which is much stiffer and yeah for some reason this handled much much better in the corners at least in, well not much better but it felt a bit more predictable when uh, taking corners on the limit so yeah again very surprising considering the construction of the wheel so overall I'm really really happy with this wheel. I didn't expect to uh, didn't expect it to turn out this well, but uh, I can thoroughly recommend it for using on short time trials and some prologue and TT efforts. Maybe a shorter triathlon, but on long distance triathlons where. You need a bit more stability when the wind can change during those 3-4 hours, 2-3-4 hours in the saddle and you want to be more relaxed, you're not putting out that much power, you're not putting out, uh, well you're not going that fast, then you should really should look, should, uh, sorry, you should look for a more stable wheel for that. But overall braking is good, stability is quite good speed is excellent, handling is excellent, so good wheel all around. Now if you'd like to see more about my other wheel sets, other zips, the disc, 808s, 454s and the such, then don't forget to tune into my channel and check out those reviews. It's all for today about this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.